Bangkok airport. If I didn't look crazy before wearing this hat, I definitely do now because no one else even knows what the heck I'm doing here. The place is literally huge. I kid you not, there is like four stories of airports. I'm recording on my phone because my camera is dead. I actually can't turn it on. The on switch is like jammed. How stupid is that? That's like not even because it's broken, it's just because I have like a physical hardware issue. So chicken that's what it is and sushi as well there was white people breakfast options but I was like no what I need a full-on Japanese style breakfast well breakfast was amazing but that was until I found the dim sims and the pork buns and not to mention that there is the biggest selection of French pastries you could ever want in your whole life like look at this Costa Danish oh. There's literally everything here, an ice cream bar, a salad bar, fruit bar, miso soup bar. This is like an all day breakfast. I can literally sit here the whole day and just eat my way through the whole menu. And they have curdy or foodies. It's a rainbow. Yeah. Look at all the juice. It's bright green. My, my breakfast is just like... I got the ice cream. Mm. Yeah. I got some really nice mocha ice cream and naturally matcha. I'm in Asia. This reminds me of the one time I convinced my grandma that I ate chicken for breakfast. I was like, oh, I must have been six. And my parents left me with her and I insisted that I must have chocolate for breakfast and my parents give me chocolate for breakfast all the time. So I ended up getting chocolate for breakfast from my grandmother. When my parents went to pick me up, they actually were like, oh, what the hell? Why, why are you feeding a six-year-old chocolate? My grandma was like, oh, well, she told me she did it. But I think it's a bit of a concern that you are feeding her chocolate. And my parents just like, lady, six-year-old tells you that she eats chocolate and you're going to give her chocolate based on that. Ice cream breakfast is great. I finally exposed my shoulders and wear haram clothes. Look at that haramness. Shopping day today. Enjoy the heat after being so cold lately. Didn't even get to have the Australian summer, so everyone's like, oh my gosh, 40 degrees in Australia, and I'm just like, bruh, it's like 12 degrees in India, freezing my tits off, like, bruh. Okay, I love Thai trains. Um, I've been to Thailand for probably 10 years or so, but Thai trains are lit. <laughs> This to black token just gets you through. It's magic. It's better than an Opal card. Well, maybe better than an Opal card. And it costs less than a dollar. Less than a dollar for a train trip. Damn! This is probably how people get fat. We're at the Hua 
Mum, markets. We just took an Uber and it took, I kid you not, two and a half hours to drive here. Uber said it would take half an hour and there was so much traffic that it took that long. Yeah, as you can see, it's very pretty and there's a lot of market actually, but apparently this is a Thai, predominantly Thai market, so we're probably the only white people here, but I'm keen to eat! myself not to get food poisoning from India so I've got myself chili sauce probably comma oh I just wore that red we have got all my favorite Thai dishes we've got the Thai style fried chicken wing we've got the lab guy we've got the uh, papaya salad and yum there and we also got the smoked fish and some miscellaneous yeah, pork yeah. strips. Sandy pointed out the green jar had was the fullest, which either means it's the most popular and they just replaced it, or it's the worst one and nobody's used any of it in the last five years. <laughs> Subscribe button down there so you can stay tuned a little on me. <laughs>